Good afternoon. Um, today we're going to look at how to create a filter for lags in Primavera P6. It's just a quick video. Um, it's not pretty. It's an ugly workaround, but hey, it works. So traditionally, if you want to see the lags in a schedule, you have to either go to activity, each activity, and check under the details form if it's got a lag or not, or the recommended method is to create a report where you define your criteria for finding lags, and then you have a PDF or an Excel um, copy of the an Excel version of the report, and and you go to it to identify the activities with lag. But I think most people in meetings or when you get a contractor schedule, you want to check for lags. It's you will love to do it in using filters so let's get let's get down to it um assuming you've got this shadow just one of the default shadows that come with them the sample shadows that come with them primavera p6 i've changed the start date to jill to 2023 just to make it relevant to the date i'm working on um so let's see let's add the predecessor and successor columns. So if I go to list, predecessor, successor, these two fields don't, um, don't have any relationship details defined, but not to worry. Primavera has got um, the predecessor details and successor details field. Expand a little. Think. Yeah, you could see this activity, the successor, it's got a six day lag to the successor. And so with the Predecessor and successor details field, we can see the lag details. So this gives us a hint that we should use these fields in our filter. Okay. So if I go, if I create a filter, so new, I'll just call it predecessor. With, with lag. So if I look for, since it's predecessor, we'll go for predecessor details. So because this field, uh, let me let me close this for now. Um, no, just remove, uh, is it applied? Yeah. So this field has got activity IDs and other information. We have to think of a way of um, just extracting the lag information. It's lags and leads, they normally come as numbers, positive or negative, positive for lag and negative for lead. So if we go back to the filter, um, I think, let me see. Yeah, it's a user-defined filter. That's what I want. So that I can apply to other project schedules or you can make it global if you have the authority and the permission the rights to do that so if i click on modifying this so because this field contains other details apart from the lag information we can't use equals to whatever we do contains so we're looking for particular like substrings from that and because lag belongs to relationships, and there are four types of relationship in Primavera P6, SS, FS, FF, and SF. So you notice that um, it's just a combination of F and S. So I think that's what we need to do. And if you can see below here, there's, a, there's like a space after the type of relationship between the lag 
duration and the type of relationship. So since we have SS and FS, S is the second character in that um, in SS and FS. So we go with S to start with. We put the space. We start with zero, just in case someone has 0 0.5 or 0 0.9 days of lag. Now we copy, paste, we change this to one. You will notice that um, the, the operator is an AND, logical AND. I don't want that. It should be all so that any of this, if any of this is true, select the activity. So paste, we do. So we do for the 10 digits from zero to nine, and that will capture any number with eight captured in all the numbers because a number has to start with one of these and this include decimal places which is so we'll go three four Nine. Okay. So this will capture for SS and FS relationships with lag. With with lag. So for leads or negative lag. So we do we do another paste. That one is simple. We don't need to do ten digit ten for ten. This thing just a one because all we have this minus sign before the number. So it will capture for all of them. So we've done predecessor details for SS and FS relationship. Now we need to do for FF and SF relationships. The easiest way is just to copy all this, copy and paste. So I'll change this to F, F, Like I said, it's not pretty, but it's um, it's effective. It's just the prettiest way to do this is to generate a report for lags. But if you want a quick and dirty way, just you can do this. So all our predecessors. So this will help find out predecessors with lag and leads or negative lags if you want to use that term. So I click OK apply so you get some filters you've got them um, the activity selected maybe if i go to my grouping i hide empty wbs's so here we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine activities with lag you can check this here predecessor has lag predecessor has lag predecessor has lag Predecessor has lag. Predecessor does have lag. Yeah, predecessor has lag. Same with this. And you can see this. This is a negative lag or lead. So the predecessor works. So next, if we go back to our filter, remove this. Or oh, let me modify this and say add the number so that they appear at the top. Yeah. Um, delete this on title field. Yeah. So next is a successor with lag. We'll set up a filter for that. So easiest way is just to copy this, paste it, and modify this. So I change this to successor. With lag. Okay, so same thing applies. Maybe expand this. All I need to do is to change change all this to
the successor details so you can fill down straight away so this will cover for both ss and fs ff and sf relationships just like before so this time if we apply this filter previously we had nine activities and this time it's one two three four five six seven eight where the successors have lag you can see this has lag this does same as this 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 so you can apply both both filters but remember to change the criteria at the top here instead of for all selected filter you show for any so that it works in all location so if i click apply this time you know while the predecessor had nine and the um successful filter had eight this time around we have like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so combined we've got 13 activities in our filter so you can see and now you can explore so ideally i think so that i can use this layout use this filter and maybe this layout with different shadows what i'll do is um remove the details fields i don't need them and save this field this layout as um, activities would lag and that means say it's a user i think it's a user defined yeah user defined layout so it's always available to me and you could test it by going to choose another layout say i choose wbs layout it's different you see yep and if i come back to my layout my new layout so activities will lag it's there with the filters apply so that's it like i said this is a quick one well i hope you find it useful just leave us a comment and we'll get back to you all the best thank you very much mm -hmm.